Welcome back. I want to talk to you for just a few minutes about harm reduction versus abstinence. In terms of comparing harm reduction and abstinence, let's look at the following ideas. Um, harm reduction looks to reduce harm, whereas abstinence looks to reduce or eliminate use. That's a big difference. Harm reduction also supports self-determination. It doesn't basically judge or tell the individual that they shouldn't be using. It supports their right or their choice to use, whereas abstinence tends to be more of a punitive approach in terms of you can't use any longer, and some people see it as quite punitive and restrictive. In terms of harm reduction, there's no judgment or coercion, but abstinence programs tend to often involve judgment and coercion. Clients have a voice in harm reduction, whereas clients really don't have a voice in abstinence-based programs, particularly if clients are mandated into treatment. In harm reduction, there are multiple options and goals. In abstinence-based programs, they tend to be more limited options and goals. Harm reduction is less connected to 12-step recovery, whereas abstinence-based models support 12-step recovery. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. You know where to find me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lecture.